Today we're going to go over how to safely set up a hood mount rig uh, using our car mount uh, package. First thing we want to do is clean the surface that we're going to mount it to. So Windex and a paper towel or a rag. You want to make sure the surface is extremely clean so that the suction cups can mount safely and not come loose. This is the main suction cup. Uh, the large 10 inch. We're going to put this where your camera position wants to be. So if we're doing a single of the driver, try to get this as close to this side of the car as possible. Um, with the baby pins facing outward, uh, camera position pointed forward, we're going to pump this up. We're going to pump this until the red line on the suction pin disappears. That means it's fully secure. And then we're going to make the adjustment on the head. Next step is uh, to add the, the backup suctions and the grip heads and the bars. So now we're going to take two six inch suctions, put them behind the rig uh, or off to the side where we can secure the system. Once we have our four grip heads on, we're going to add the rods. So using the two five eighths rods, we're going to align the whole system. OK, so this three-point rig is now triangulated. But now we need to brace it. So we're going to get, so now we're going to come in with the smaller two and a half inch heads. And this will cross brace the whole system to help avoid camera shake. So we take one more small head and one of the smaller 3 8 crossbars. This small head will then be used with another rod to be able to secure the top of the camera to help reduce camera shake. So in your kit you're going to have two hood securing straps. So we're going to open the hood slightly. And we're going to place the securing straps inside the, the, the engine compartment. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. And then close the hood. These straps now present a secure place to be able to connect the ratchets and hold the whole system down. A few options for this setup. You can either ratchet from this point to here, or you can ratchet across the whole system. The idea is to just keep this down and a bit more secure, uh, just in case we have a suction failure or some other device that may come, come off. And we're going to connect this here and run this to the other side of the vehicle. by going over our rig, making sure not to scratch the car. Now these ratchet straps don't need to be extremely tight. We don't want to bend the rig. All we want to do is secure it in another method other than just suction cups. So we want to keep that just tight enough to keep the rig safe to the car. And then we can tie this back or tape it back so that it doesn't flap. So we've pre-mounted uh, a DSMC2 red on a base plate with our adaptable base plate for the head air, as well as a top plate with a baby pin so we can secure the top of the camera. So we're going to come in and secure the camera. Now is when we'll find our shot. So we'll find the angle and tilt that we want and lock that down tightly. So we'll grab another rod. Another head. By securing the top now, we have a fairly secure system that doesn't shake as much. We can also take another head to another suction to secure the top of the camera even further. This next bit is completely optional. If we feel that we still have too much camera shake, we can add another, another uh, suction cup and some more rods. So we're going to come in here.
making sure all our heads are tight. This will secure the camera and minimize shake as much as possible. Now the last thing is our safety chain. This is really important. This is our safety chain. We're going to connect this to the, to the rig on the eye bolt that we have. And then we're going to connect it to a non-suction cup piece. So we like to connect it right to these hood straps. This pre presents, prevents the entire rig from flying off the car and bouncing down the road. So this will safety it on. This is a basic car mount rig uh, looking directly in the window. This can be reconfigured as much as needed, but the general principles apply. Three points of contact, some safety with your ratchet straps, a safety chain for the whole system, and as much security to keep the camera shake down.